In this grasshopper definition, uh, I want to show you how you can use this definition to produce these pa uh, parametric panels. And you can also use this definition to learn grasshopper as an exercise for those who are the member of the ultimate package. So, uh, and they can download this from the ultimate package section. So the uh, first thing you can change is the uh, number of the count of those uh, panels. You can see this is the basic panel here and I can uh, change the number of the count and you can see that those squares or rectangles will also change so you can also increase or decrease the number of the uh, rectangles or squares. The next part is the offset and you can see here when I uh, increase the offset here uh, this is the base panel you can see here and uh, what it is is uh, a simple, uh, let me show you here, a uh, panel here that is mirrored and we have this here and again this panel is mirrored up so we can have the base one. So you can change the offset to define the distance between the panels and produce a new one. Uh, the next input is the point attractors and you can see that I can change this MDS slider and uh, produce different results for the panels and you can see that when I change this I will have different results. Uh, you can also add uh, these MD sliders to your definition by Control C, Control V and using the shift key I'm going to add another attractor here. So let's just add another attractor here and you can see that I can change the position and maybe decrease the number of the count. And you can see that how simple you can define this pattern with the attractors and the count and produce different results. So this is the, uh, these are the, the parameters you can use. And the next one is, let's just put this at the corner because when you put this at the corner, those circles will, uh, will appear. And the next one is the graph. As you can see here, uh, I have used a sine graph and we can change this graph uh, to produce different results. As you can see here, uh, the most important thing about the graphs is you can add another one. So I want about three graphs. So I'm going to use Control C, Control V, and copy this. Connect this to the new graph. Another one, and connect this one, and then give this to the end. Okay. So this will combine three different graphs together. So maybe we need a graph type, a busier graph type. Here you can see that I can change this and produce different results and you can see how easy it is to uh, produce the results and again I'm going to change this to maybe a conic one and you can see how the conic will affect your pattern. So this is how you can use the graph uh, things and add the graphs. Uh, the next input you can give is the scale of this and this is the scale of the uh, base of those patterns and you can see when I scale this there's another distance added to the panels and you can see again you can use this distance to change your pattern and this will definitely change the results. Uh, the last thing you want to know is the curve you can simply just uh, uh, middle click this and bake this and let's just choose this you can see that this is the base panel so you can use the and uh, to make the panels and fabricate the panels. So this is a simple definition you can use uh, to produce the panels. This is the point attractors. You can uh, define the offset as you uh, saw that it will just change your pattern again. Uh, another one was the number of the uh, squares and you can see that I can decrease this and uh, produce uh, amazing patterns. If, uh, if I want I can add another point attractor here and you can see that when I change this it will also uh, produce a simple pattern. And the most important thing about this definition is that it's using mirror to produce the pattern. So this will just uh, give you uh, more uh, patterns and you can produce more patterns possible. Uh, and the last important thing is about the graphs. Uh, the first graph is sine and then this is a busier and this is a conic one. So let's just change this. I'm going to use again, now I'm going to use a conic distribution and then I'm going to use a sign and then I'm going to use a Bezier distribution. You can see that this will also 
uh, change the results. And that is because the distribution of the numbers of the scaling will change. And it's important to uh, start with one graph and then go up. So the conic and the sine is different than a sine with a conic. So remember that you can also change this and produce the result. Okay, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this definition, those who are the members of the uh, ultimate package, they can ask in the support page and uh, they can simply download this uh, definition. Okay, thank you for watching.